हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर भाविका हेयर करंटली आई एम डूइंग एमरी ऑफथेलमोलॉजी फ्रॉम एम्स न्यू दिल्ली सो हेयर आई एम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑन ऑफथेलमोलॉजी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू द डिजीज ऑफ रेटना बिकॉज आई थिंक रेटना इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट टॉपिक्स एट द यू जी लेवल सो लेट्स बिगिन अवर डिस्कशन ऑन डिजीज ऑफ रेटना सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल बी टेकिंग अप द रेटनल अटैचमेंट सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द रेटनल अटैचमेंट सो रेटनल अटैचमेंट इज द सेपरेशन ऑफ द न्यूरोसेंसरी रेटना फ्रॉम द रेटनल पिगमेंट एपिथीलियम सो फ्रेंड्स एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज दैट फर्स्ट नाइन लेयर्स ऑफ रेटना दैट इज फर्स्ट दैट इज द आउटर लेयर ऑफ नाइन लेयर्स ऑफ द रेटना दे आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिवली कॉल्ड एज न्यूरोसेंसरी रेटना so if there is separation of the neurosensory retina from the retinal pigment epithelium then that is known as retinal detachment now there are three types of retinal detachment first one is rhytmatogenous second is exudative and third is fractional so uh, we'll be discussing each type of retinal detachment one by one so first of all the risk factors so for the rhytmatogenous uh, retinal detachment age myopia retinal degeneration are the risk factors and for the exudative mainly inflammation is uh, considered as risk uh, risk factor for the exudative retinal detachment and for the tracheal retinal detachment mainly it occurs in diabetic people and in retinopathy of prematurity and in sickle cell retinopathy and in pvr so what is the difference between uh, the three types of retinal detachment so first of all there is extent so regmatogenous i will uh, first want to tell you that what is regmatogenous regmatogenous in uh, regmatogenous regma means break so there will be break present in the regmatogenous retinal detachment and through that break in the neurosensory retina there will be seepage of fluid and which will be accumulated between the neurosensory retina and the retinal pigment epithelium and this fluid as we all know that uh, fluid will be collected and this fluid will be uh, uh, this fluid will extend till the aura and so the retinal detachment also will extend till the aura in the retinal detach in the regmatogenous retinal detachment and in exudative also there is fluid present between the neurosensory retina and the retinal pigment epithelium but break is not present in the exudative retinal detachment so similarly exudative retinal detachment will also extend till the aura but in fractional retinal detachment the pathology is the fibrous bands which uh, which uh, are formed in diabetic retinopathy and in the retinopathy of prematurity so secondary breaks may be present due to the fibrous proliferation but there are no uh, but the uh, re- detachment is due to the retinal pro- the, but the re- detachment will be due to the fibrous proliferation fibrous prolifer- uh, proliferation which will uh, stretch which will uh, cause pull at the retina and the subsequently leading to the tracheal retinal detachment now third point is the configuration in the retinal detachment so as a uh, regmatogenous and in the exudative retinal detachment there is fluid present between the neurosensory retina and the retinal pigment epithelium so the configuration uh, in these two will be convex but in the tracheal retinal detachment there is fibrous proliferation so the uh, configuration will be concave type like a tent so this uh, the so there will be stretching and it will uh, pull the retina and there will be formation uh, fibrous proliferation will form a tent like uh, configuration and there there will be concave uh, type of retinal detachment in the tracheal retinal detachment now break as i've already told you there must be break uh, present in the regmatogenous retinal detachment so the break can be whole or can be a tear tear most commonly uh, it is a horseshoe tear which occurs due to the pvd pvd is a posterior vitreous detachment it is is uh, it is a uh, age related phenomena so it occurs in almost every individual but if pvd ca- leads to break then it can lead to formation of the regmatogenous retinal detachment and there is no break present in the exudative retinal detachment so what is the pathology in because of the inflammation there will be hyperpermeability of the rpe and due to this hyperpermeability of the rp the the uh, fluid will get accumulated between the rpe and the neurosensory retina and for the tracheal retinal detachment there is no primary break but secondary break may be present due to the pull uh, caused by uh, fibrous proliferation so 
now the fifth point is shifting fluid shifting fluid is absent in the uh, uh, rrd but it is present in the exudative rd so what is the shifting fluid so for example uh, it is related to the position so for example if the patient is sitting in the uh, uh, prone position uh, uh, sorry uh, in the upright position then the fluid will be accumulated in the inferior retina so as soon as the patient will assume a supine position the inferior uh, the fluid will uh, uh, be set the fluid will get shifted and it will uh, be now uh, the now the inferior retina will be settled down and the fluid will get shifted towards the superior retina so and and because of this there will be also fluid under the macula also so so the uh, effect of the fluid is positional whenever the patient uh, assumes a straight upright position fluid will be in the inferior retina and if the patient assumes a supine position the fluid will get shifted towards the superior retina so this is a feature of the exudative rd it is not present in retinal uh, in erythematogenous uh, and it is not present in the tractional retinal detachment now signs and symptoms uh, this flashes and floaters in retinal uh, in regmatogenous uh, rd due to uh, break so flashes and floaters are mainly due to the break in rrd and then another features which are common to all these three these are sudden pain onset of painless loss of vision and uh, there will be loss of field of vision there will be uh, rapd that is uh, rap, uh, that is uh, relative afferent pupillary defect and iop it will be decreased so why the iop will uh, be decreased in uh, retinal detachment there are uh, mainly two reasons for that first one is the aqueous misdirection because of the fluid uh, because of the break in the neurosensory retina there will be aqueous misdirection and the uh, fluid will uh, uh, sh- get shifted from the anterior to the posterior side of the retina so there will be not much uh, the not adequate amount of fluid present so this can uh, lead to the decrease in iop and and due to uh, retinal detachment there is also inflammation present which will lead to ciliary shutdown and there will be decreased production of the uh, aqueous uh, humor so this all factors uh, lead to decrease in iop in retinal detachment now on examination on examination we will see uh, normally there is red reflex present when we see the patient's fundus uh, by di- um, on dilating the pupil when we see the patient's fundus normally there is red reflex present but due to the re- uh, the retinal detachment the red reflex will be converted to the gray reflex and if we will do the indirect ophthalmoscopy then we can see the break in regmatogenous retinal detachment now for the treatment uh, first of all we'll try to seal the break and if the break is small and there is not a retinal detachment occurred occurred so break can be sealed by cryo and can be uh, sealed by photocoagulation or laser but if there is but if the retinal detachment has occurred due to the break so uh, cryo and photocoagulation will not help and then we will have to perform the surgery so there are three types of surgery that can be performed for retinal detachment first one is buckling second is pneumatic retinopexy uh, in this uh, there will be uh, sealing of the break by a bubble we will inject the gas the gas will expand and it will provide a tamponade to the break and then uh, it can uh, lead to the closure of the break and ultimately uh, the fluid between the neurosensory retina and the rpe will be absorbed by the rpe and then can, uh, the retina can, uh, detachment can be settled third one is the ppv this is pars plana vitrectomy in this there are three ports uh, inserted and then vitrectomy is uh, performed and then a uh, silicon oil or a uh, gas bubble is injected into the eye which will provide a tamponade to the break and and by, by providing the tamponade to the break it will seal the break and it will not l- allow the fluid to pass through the break so in this way we can treat the uh, retinal detachment so the next uh